Hello everyone, Ledex here, welcome to episode 58 of Ascent Let's Play. I'm exactly where I left off previously, uh, however I did again, like the previous time that I left off in the mid-episode, uh, in the twilight, I did some research, and I found out that I really should try and create uh, the maze map, uh, which is created like this. A maze map focus and eight papers. Now the maze map focus apparently is something that you do, do not find in the maze, but outside the maze. Like in other places like the hollow hill and other places like that. So, what I'm going to do is actually uh, quickly abandon that place. Actually, let's better create a linking book here first. I'm going to create a linking book back to that exact place and save it. And get back to the overworld. Also, clear all my inventory because obviously it's quite full. And... I should... I can... I would like to go ahead and find that uh, special map focus. So let me just get rid of all of those things and I'll be right back. All right, so I got everything that I need. So I'm gonna go back to the... Ooh, zombie pigman. I'm gonna go back to the Twilight Forest. Yeah, I'm also confused. Okay, so I'm in the Twilight Forest. Um, what I'm looking for, as far as I've read, should be in Hollow Hills or any other random uh, dungeons places. Uh, for some reason my map refuses to update. Anyway, let's start going south. Because I think, yeah, that Hollow Hill I'm pretty much... Uh, I've emptied, so let's try finding someplace else. Apparently there are also different sizes of Hollow Hills. I know there are different sizes, but now I'm noticing that they're also indicated differently on the map. That's That I didn't know. Which is actually quite nice. You can see the two pixels one, the six pixels one, and the giant one in the bottom right at the moment of my map. So let's just get to the one directly south of me. Let's see what can I find there. Sometimes the terrain in here can be quite hard to traverse. Okay, am I going in the right direction? Yeah, I should be. I actually don't recall which maze did I go to, the one on the most right, on the middle of the map, I think the most right. Yeah. Okay, let me get there. Okay, I think that's the place. Uh, should be according to the map. Right in front of me, yeah, I guess that's it. This should be according to the map, but this should be a small hollow hill. I'm already hearing uh, those goblins. Let's dig straight down from the topmost area. It's easier to find my way that way. Okay, my most of my graphton suit has good good amount of energy, so pretty good. Okay, so I guess what I'm looking for will be in the chests. It only makes sense that way. So let's okay, some more ogmar magnets and some diamond, not diamond, but gold spawner. Okay, let's start marking off chests that I've uh, emptied already. Okay, another chest. I'll take the torches. I like how they're full of resources every time, but coming here just for the resources will be quite silly. I mean, there is so much other things to look for here. And nope. The boots are mine. What's that? Defeat a red cap goblin in a small hollow hill. Craft a maze map after obtaining the focus from a goblin. Oh, okay. So they drop from goblins, good thing, I'm looking through the achievements. Then let's try finding goblins. Uh, coal. I guess that's uh, quite a random drop. I sh do have looting, so probably a good idea. I don't know what difference does it make though. That thing is like a maze of itself. How 
the kitchen fire. Any other chests in here? Diamonds, maybe. Yeah, I think I better. I should better go to a bigger hollow hill. This small one is actually not very nice to navigate because it's so condensed and there are blocks everywhere and things. And I'm pretty much confident that I've just emptied it out completely. Like, I probably looked for everything. Also, it seems like the rarest material that I can find here is iron compared to gold and even diamond that I found in the, in the medium-sized one. Actually, would like to check the biggest size one to see what can I find there. Okay, so let's go one south. So that's another medium hill. Medium one. Okay, yeah, you can definitely see it's bigger. There is no doubt about it. Like the outside is a lot bigger. You can pretty much assume that the inside is also bigger. Just not always the case, but let's see. Was that diamonds? Or silver? Or tin? What was that? Oh, okay. Okay, creeper. Good thing I flew up. Uh, diamonds. Thank you very much. Okay, so I probably should be looking for the goblins. They are the ones more diamonds. They are the ones that I want to kill. Although it doesn't seem I have much options right now. And a creeper, and another creeper. I don't know if I'm getting even getting anything. Okay, let's get rid of things I don't really need. I think the red cap goblins, the one the achievement said the red cap goblins, I'm pretty sure that's the one I should focus most on killing. Although as you can see it's not that simple. So far nothing, so I guess maybe chests and not goblins. Okay, I'm gonna explore a little bit. What's this? Uncrafting table? What? What is the uncrafting table? Ooh! Ooh, this is... Oh, so apparently... Okay, now I have an idea. Okay, so apparently the uncrafting table lets you uncraft stuff, which is actually very useful. And the irony is that the recipe for the uncrafting table contains a maze map focus. So if I find another uncrafting table, I can uncraft itself and cause an uncraftception. What else can I do? Okay, I guess thumbcraft stuff do not work. Maybe maps? Nope. Uh, books? Nope. How, like, how high does it go? Okay, let's try a normal book. Can it uncraft? Nope. But I can uncraft the crafting table? Like, what? Okay, let's, uh, yeah, I'm gonna look a little bit more, look for maybe more chests, try kill more of those goblins, and be right back. Okay, found another uncrafting table. Uh, let's see if my plan is going to work. However, after seeing that some of those things cannot actually be crafted, or uncrafted to be precise, uh, diamonds, uh, it might not work, so let's give it a try. I mean, obviously, if it wouldn't work, it wouldn't work, but... Something is making sound of a mosquito. 
Okay, there is a goblin spawner here. Maybe it will be a good idea to actually note that. The fact that there are goblin spawners in those places. Because if the goblin spawners are the one that I need, it will be a good idea. Okay, so can I craft this? Yes, I can. That's nice. Okay, can I get a lot of wood back? Yeah, sure. I can only do one at a time. Why not? What? Why can't I... Okay, this is weird. Anyway, I got my maze map, so let me get back to... Or actually, let's just get back there manually using the magic map. It was this dungeon, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, I'm wasting a lot of energy at the moment, but I want to get there faster. Okay. Should be a torch here. If that's indeed the place. Yep, torch at the bottom, that's the one. Okay, let's create the map. So, place this crafting table. Eight papers. Oh, let's create it at ground level, maybe it makes a difference, I don't know, just to be sure. Okay, no creepers at the moment. And the maze map focus. And now to find the exit. Oh, okay. So I have to right click it to before. Yeah, okay, so it makes sense. I have to right click it before uh, deciding which map it's for. There is also a way to do this, a block of gold, iron and diamond. Apparently it should give me also a map to find resources. You know what, I want to try that. I did lose my book back to the overworld. Uh-huh. And I can't make that, I'm short on two gold ingots and yeah. Okay, so let's just try in finding what's going on here. I also don't know if there is actually like a big prize at the end or something. I'm just trying to go about here. Okay, I'm gonna need to be able to pick that thing up. Okay. Golden apple, sure. Uh, maze wafers and the charm of keeping, sure. Okay, so basically the map... Oh, so I can see chests. That's nice. Yeah, the chest sees itself as this uh, brown dot. Let's make sure. Let's go to the other chest. Um, how can I get there? Yeah, okay. I think the maze goes outside the borders of... Like, the dungeon goes bigger than the map can go. So how exactly does that help me? That was the room with the explosions. Mm. Of those silly spiders. Okay. Oh, so this is where I left off. So actually, let's get back and make this special map. I want to see what it does. Um, see what am I doing? Okay, let me clear my inventory and create that super special map. Okay, so I'm going to need a block of every type of uh, precious material. So a block of diamond, a block of gold, and a block of iron. Can I craft it using um, an already existing map? Yeah, okay, and it's blank again. How can that be worth it? Okay, so I'm going to also use that uh, only when I get back to the dungeon, let's store the valuables again. And I did make the book previously pretty much exactly to the same point, so it should be fine. Yep, and I can pick that book back up again. And let's use the map. 
Okay, so that map should also basically show me valuables. Not exactly sure how, but it should mark them on the map uh, in a way that I know uh, like there is diamond or something nearby. Okay, another chest room. This time around I know that the pressure plate is a bad thing, so let's just find the treasure. Oh, another maze map. That's good. Okay, that's the explosion. And some good stuff. And let's keep going. Uh, okay, so I guess that's... To the right is the boundaries of the dungeon. Like, over that direction. That spider grabs me. Okay, what's in here? Don't remember seeing something like this. And it goes down. Okay, let's go down then. I didn't go down yet. This is the first time going down. Creeper! Those enemies are quite annoying. Why can't they be just zombies? Okay, does this map recognize this area? Yeah, I have a feeling that the map doesn't actually detect that area as a different level. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't discover the new corridors, so it probably doesn't even recognize this as a new floor. Well, obviously, those maps have limits. Ooh, Enderman. The Sword of the Zephyr, the fact that it can cleave is brilliant. Like, taking all those slimy enemies and spiders and everything at once is brilliant. Okay, I think I may be wanting to go back up again. Because that map is useless in that floor. So let's go back up. That sounded like a Thumbcroft Wisp. Okay, let's continue that floor. Probably will be a better idea. Yeah, I think that spider can grab me. Yeah, there you go. I'm not moving right now. He grabbed me and deals damage to me. With his giant mouth. What's this special armor? I don't know. Okay, just keep going for now. Treasure room. Which doesn't seem to be trapped. Uh, nothing too interesting. I think I've been here before. Yeah, that was a chest. That is also a chest that I've already looked into. That's an exploded room. I'm actually starting to th to think that those mazes doesn't don't actually have a final surprise or a final boss or something. At least it doesn't seem to be that way. M maybe going to the next floor <coughs> will lead me f eventually to a final something being a boss or a big chest or I don't know what but for now it doesn't seem like it and knowing that is actually it's nice it's a nice uh, little adventure but it eventually gets old even that I have a map and I can try and learn what's going on, it's still not very interesting.
That sword is the slayer of slimes, it just simply tears through them. Yeah, I've been here before. Another torch room. Yeah, probably going down is the way, maybe. But I don't know how interesting it will be. You know what? I'm simply going to stop recording for now. I'm going to try and go to the next level. Go one floor down. Unfortunately, without a map. But uh, you know what? Let's start seeing how far can I get. Maybe there is, maybe there is something interesting at the end. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, this is interesting. I just found... A mushroom minotaur, not a normal minotaur, but a mushroom one. By the way, I'm still on the same floor, nothing has changed. Uh, but this mushroom minotaur is also quite tough. Maybe he's the big boss? Oh, he dropped his uh, axe and a lot of meat something. Oh, and some chests. This is pretty and unusually looking room. Maybe that's something special? I've got a lot of those armor. I'm still collecting them and I'm considering trying, like starting to stop doing so. They're really clogging up my inventory. Also, there apparently is a hole in the bedrock here. I don't know if it's intended or not. But usually the floor of every uh, level was bedrock. This time around it's also, now looking at the map, this is the lowest possible level. So I guess I can't go any lower than that. So if that mushroom was the surprise at the end, um, I guess that's it. Like I can't go any lower. Let's look at the achievements for a second. They were quite quite revealing. Okay, so there is getting to the twilight. There is this. There is defeat the red cup goblin in smaller hollow hill. Craft the map. Craft the special map. Okay, that's uh, that's the hollow hills. Oh, defeat the spider in a hedge maze. Oh, that's a hedge maze. That's a different type of maze. Magic maps, special armor. Okay, so I guess it's at least for as far as those achievements go. Um, I don't think I can do anything else in the maze. Otherwise, I would expect to see, like, kill the big evil monster of the maze or something. Apparently, doesn't seem to be like it, so... I guess it's here just for all the random treasures, because I am finding a lot of those steel leaf uh, materials. The armor and the actual uh, basic reagent. So, I guess, because I'm using the industrial craft armor set, the, the graviton suit and the nano... The quantum stuff, not quantum, but... The, ah, yeah, quantum stuff. I don't actually care about the type of armor because it's not going to be any stronger than what I have. Pretty, pretty much assuming so. It probably would have been a nicer addition if you don't have a diamond gear or better than diamond gear if you're playing vanilla without industrial craft. But as it is, seems to be just an additional option. And having industrial craft installed and the entire quantum set done, uh, it's not very useful for me. Yeah, I'm starting to get lost and not uh, paying attention to what am I doing. Yeah, I have a feeling that uh, I'm not going to find anything else here. Okay, let's get out of here. Got my linking book to the overworld. Let's get out of here. Oh, while I'm here, let's see what the special soup does. The myth strong enough. Okay, just fed me four hunger bars. However, it does take... They don't stack, that's quite not useful for me. Is there a recipe for that special axe? Does it have a use? Uh, can I uncraft it? The uncrafting table is actually interesting. Apparently I can uncraft many different things. I can't uncraft this, but I can uncraft the armor. And... 
Hey, let's see how far does it go? Does it can it uncraft um, mod stuff? Yeah, seems so. <laughs> that's actually quite silly. Let's uncraft the induction smelter. Okay, that's the sh <laughs> that's silly, but that's useful. But why, when I did it before, suddenly at some point it stopped being able to do stuff. It's suddenly forgotten how to do some things. Why? Like, what's the point? Okay, let me arrange my inventory. Be right back. Came here to take a quick look in my desert mining gauge to see how it goes. Uh, still, it's not done yet. Let's see how far is it from finishing. Oh, Okay, so I'm about, yeah, I'm more than halfway through, so it's pretty good. Can't really complain so far. Um, I actually considered adding more engines, but thinking about it, once I'm done with those quarries and the quarries I have in my other age, I am not exactly sure what to do with those all those engines. Like I may place them uh, specifically in like a, a build craft gate generating machine or something, but without it, I don't really have a use for them. Like. Another point. They may really want to start looking into my lava generation force. For now, it's working and it's working fine. Not, so, not exactly sure how long it's going to last. So, yeah. Well, in the meantime, I actually would like to continue exploring um, Twilight Forest. So, made another linking book back to the overworld. And this time, I want to see what's inside the big hollow hill. I explored the tiny one, the medium one, and let's explore the large one. Okay, so I'm here. I'm gonna go to that uh, hollow hill I had on my map. Yeah, just south of my the hydra that I've killed, like really south. And as you can see, I'm using my graviton boost option to get there a lot, a lot, a lot faster. Because since I've applied my uh, system with my uh, mass fabrication system to automatically shut off when there is no scrap, I'm actually generating a slight surplus of energy over time, so I can afford doing the, doing this and then recharging my suit. Okay, seems to be any second here. Now this is supposed to be a large hill. Now I'm not exactly sure what's a large hill. I guess that's a large hill. Doesn't seem that much bigger than the medium one. But I guess the surprise is on the inside, not the outside. Okay. Seems to be relatively the same diamonds. Also, some emeralds. Come to think of it, I've never, I didn't count emeralds yet in my overworld. You know that? I think maybe some war generation got bugged in the way, and I haven't found any more diamonds, more emeralds. I'll take what you can give me. Ooh, something that looks evil. Can I kill this? Okay. Yep, I just killed something that I should have killed according to an achievement. What did he drop? If anything at all. Come on. I see some glowstone. That's it, some glowstone. I like how the, spy the skeletons keep shooting each other. And killing each other for me. What? A TNT? That's an evil goblin. They're dropping TNTs. Well, he took down the spawner. Okay, did I get anything? Uh... Well, I did get the achievement, but... Like, anything else? Whoa, that hill is big. Okay, that one is huge. Moonworm Queen. Oh, Creeper! And a Pumpkin Pie. What's a Moonworm Queen? 
has a recipe which loops around itself and Ooh. can I break this? Oh, so I guess that recipe is supposed to be for charging the durability. And they just leave those worms that generate light. Nice. I like the amount of diamonds that are in here. Very visible and very accessible. For a second there, I, I thought that was a creeper spawner because the creeper was right through the... Whoa. Was right through the spawner. Ah, uh, something grabbed me. Oh, that place is extremely dangerous if you don't have the right uh, gear. If you don't have the graviton suit, or maybe, I don't know, maybe those uh, Twilight Forest gear is quite useful. But without the graviton suit, I would never jump down here, knowing what's expecting me. Because I can also fly back up any second that I want. Lot of diamonds. Well, I guess that thing that I've killed is a special boss, kind of something. Uh, what does it say in achievements? Yep. I defeated Twilight Wraith in the large hollow hill. Okay, so I guess that's that. Well, there is a ton of resources here, but I'm really... Uh, except for diamonds. Oh, another one. Yeah, just the glowstone. Okay. Nothing too fancy about it. It's nice, but I can get glowstone no problem in the nether. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay guys, so it seems yeah, the episode has been quite long. Um, let's see, before ending the episode, if I can find anything uh, which at least seems to be interesting. So I can leave you guys with a cliffhanger. Or I'm really stuck in a very boring spawn of the Twilight Forest. More hills, more mazes, more hills, and I'm going to unload a chunk. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm thinking it seems to gonna keep exploring. I'm pretty much really looking forward for my core and two cores to really finish digging uh, the area for the future red power st wall carver. But until they don't finish, I can't really start. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna probably wait for them to finish and get started in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.